The J-20 fighter carried out a joint exercise with the J-10 and J-16 fighters. The J-20 demonstrates superior air-to-air -air combat capability in joint training. The Chinese Navy's aircraft carrier also began training in 2022 earlier in the year, the J-15 being a key player. And the Air Assault Brigade conducts Z-20 helicopter air-to-ground attack training in the first week of 2022. One of the major changes was that Chengdu set up a new giant factory to accelerate production of the J-20. China's Air Force released a new video showing J-20 fighter units starting full-scale training in early 2022. The new plant allows multiple J-20s to be assembled at the same time, and more teams can work on the aircraft simultaneously, could deliver dozens of J-20s by 2022. The J-10 and J-16 fighter units look into combined air combat strategy and tactics together with the J-20. The J-16 is a member of the world's most advanced Su-27 family with the avionics suite of the J-10C. A J-10C variant with AESA radar took part in the training. Production of the J-20 is entering a new era since the last quarter of 2021, possibly entering mass production. An official report indicates that Chengdu Aircraft Corporation staff is speeding up the delivery of test flights. And they speed up deliveries and ensure the quality of key test flight tasks. The team hit delivery indicators at new highs, with a target of more than 100 J-20s in service by 2022. According to the report, several major challenges emerge in 2021. The J-20, the PLA's most advanced stealth fighter, has been deployed to the Eastern Theater Command, although it does not carry out routine patrols, but has carried out frequent flight missions. A J-20A with serial number 61162 will conduct a test flight at the end of 2021, if so, the Indonesian Air Force's 3rd Flight Brigade has been or will soon be equipped with the J-20. The serial number indicates that it belongs to the Southern Theater Command's 5th Aviation Brigade. Currently, the brigade is equipped with J-10C fighters from areas close to the South China Sea. The other two J-20A brigades are the 1st in the north and the 9th in the east. The PLA Army has several live fire drills, new wheeled and wheeled vehicles are participating. A new 122mm rocket launcher based on the new multi-purpose armored vehicle also appears in the video.